All right, Glenn, on any 35-foot center console that's used as a serious fishing machine, I think an open bow is very important. I mean, you worked as a charter boat captain for years. Give me your opinion on the accessibility of here. I agree. Nice high gunnels. You can get right up here with your hips. Have a grab rail right, right next to you. You can fight a fish. The boat's meant to go forward, not backwards. You're not going to fall off the side of the boat. You can fish. You can get up here. On most people, that's at least uh, waist high. You can fish up front. They can fish in the back. It's uh, very logical. Nice layout. Well, speaking of fish boxes, let's look at some of these here that are built into the floor. Wow. Actually, on this boat, there's three. And I guess having an abundance of fish boxes is not bad because they can double as other things for storage. Like on this one, there's uh, even rod storage built in. Sad thing I'm seeing, though, there's no fish in these boxes. It's just a bunch of gear. We need to change that. We need to go fishing then. All right, Glenn, too, and while we're on the subject of storage, under the front seat of this console, insulated ice chest. Oh, beautiful. On a day like today, it's hot. You're going to be up here fishing. It's nice to have your drinks right here. Well, let's take a look at the inside of the console. Once you get down in there, the access to the electronics on the back side of the uh, panels and stuff like that, it's, it's great. If you have a problem, you can get to everything right there in front of you. You can see you have deep access all the way to the bottom, to a bulkhead, you have battery switches, everything that you need is right there at your fingertips. All right, Glenn, as a charter boat captain, I don't have to tell you the importance of console layout and being able to access everything on your helm. Face it, you're going to spend 90% of your time back here driving the boat. You have a place to put your feet, which is important when you start running offshore. Feet aren't swinging back and forth. We have our flush mount electronics right here, our compass center line with the helm. We have a, a tilt steering wheel, or depending on whoever's driving the boat, their height. And uh, all your, your gauges and everything are right in front of the captain. So, very user friendly. Let's talk a little bit about the importance of having a rigging station. Okay, we'll look at it right here. Get in here, stand right behind the console. You have a grab rail. If you're running, you can get right here. You've got a, a little lift that keeps your stuff from jumping around. You can be rigging while you're on the way to the fishing grounds. We have tackle storage also below and on both sides of the console. As we make our way aft from the helm, let's talk about some of the features that this boat has in the stern. We've got a aft deck, I mean an in deck live well right here. Huge. Um, storage for two five gallon buckets. You can get to your pumps. Easy access, nice and clean. Aft here, and then just forward of these, you fill up these fish boxes. You have a hell of a day fishing. Right here, we've got a, uh, a prep station and a small sink. Another big live well here. Transom gate right here that's easy access to dive. And there is a pull out dive ladder that's right below our uh, integrated transom. Pull it right out, slides down, climb right out of the boat. 